So it's been a while since I had put out one of these videos, and I think it's about time. <laughs> I'm currently uh, transcribing the um, videos I made a while ago about initiation into Hermetics and the Ten Steps. I'm transcribing those, which is a really torturously laborious process of listening to a little bit, typing a little bit, listening to a little bit, typing a little bit, playing it all at half speed. Oh, it's really um, an annoying task, but it will take me probably a month or two to do that. Um, so, that's what I'm doing these days. Um, I'm coming today to talk to you, uh, well, to respond to um, a question by a good friend, Oliver. He wrote, I'm going to read it from my screen, he wrote, Ron, would you agree to do a video about the safety of self-preservation versus daring to be ourselves? I feel several of us struggle with how to express the new self revealed by the positivation of our soul mirrors. We work through our negative qualities and suddenly meet parts of ourselves that we didn't know existed, and that now yearn for self-expression. However, we are trapped in people's image of ourselves and are reluctant to challenge the status quo. How do we brave the fear, enact this coming out, and make this statement of being? Any tips so that we can dare to dare? Okay. Well, number one, this is a fear. And the thing about fears is that in our minds, they grow tentacles. You know, they, they grow awful hairy bodies and, you know, wicked looking. You know, we exaggerate them always in our minds. That's part of the self-preservation mechanism. You know, we, it's like the bear, when it comes at you, increases its body size, you know, makes you think it's much bigger than it is. Um, it tells us to run the other way. So, we, in confronting any fear, we have to deflate it. You know, we have to look at it honestly and factually. Like, for example, what really would be the consequences if the people around you got a glimpse of who you really are on the inside? We always present a, a modified version of ourselves to the world. You know, all of us do that. And some of us are very good at it, some of us are not so good at it etc., etc. Um, but that's a common thing uh, to exist in the society as we've designed society. We must modify who we are to blend in. Um, some of us just refuse to do that. You know? Uh, these are the iconoclasts, you know, the, the really extraordinary characters. Um, but most of us modify who we are, get along in the world. So, none of us are surprised when we see things in other people that we didn't expect. We might be a little surprised, but we're not oh, horribly shocked by it. Um, so, the danger of you expressing these new parts of yourself is really, really, really minimal in point of fact. It's not some big scary thing. Okay. So say we've deflated that fear for now. 
The other question is, well, why? Why do you feel, as you put it, uh, why do these parts of yourself yearn for self-expression in such a way that it would upset other people's vision of you? Why? Now, part of that's just natural. You know, we're, we're excited on a certain level about this part of ourselves that we think is wonderful. Um, and we want to show other people our shiny new badge, you know, our gold star. We want to boast, essentially, about it. And that's a big part of it here. Being a braggart, you know? <laughs> Not in the extreme um, negative aspect of that, but it, it shares the same root of, hey, here I am, look at me. Um, why? Why? Is that important? Is there not another... Well, let me put it this way. It's up to you to be clever enough inventive enough, creative enough to express this new part of you just through everything you do. Through your breathing, through how you treat other people, how you interact with other people, how you create, what you think, you know, just express it all the time, instead of it being a special, shiny, new thing, um, think about it. Think about how you can express this part of yourself in such a way that it is expressed, but other people don't even notice it as something unusual. Uh, oof. For example, when I meet a person, I just automatically see into them and uh, understand all kinds of different things about them. But I don't start out by saying, oh, I'm so sorry your mother died. You know, I'm so sorry you lost your pet. You know, that would be an expression of my ability to see into them. But what I do instead is I treat them with kindness. You know, I recognize their wounds. And so I treat them with kindness and help heal their wounds without them even realizing it. And I don't wear a little badge that says, Oh, I can see into you, and I can help you heal your wounds. You know, you notice, I don't wear any jewelry, any ornaments, you know, let's say, I'm a hermetic, or I'm a Kabbalist, or, you know, I'm a witch, you know, whatever. I've let go of that stuff. It's totally irrelevant to how I feel inside and how I am in the world. Now, this is another part of it. Why in the hell are you afraid of being who you are? You know, who you are is a beautiful thing. You know, the world deserves for you to be who you are. It's your gift to us. Don't ever be afraid of being who you are. Even if they kill you for it, don't be afraid of it. Never be afraid of being who you are. I think that's 
what it really comes down to for me in my life is I just got to be who I am. The whole of who I am in every moment, in every interaction with a person, with an animal, with a thing, with every interaction, I am the wholeness of who I am. And it's a hell of a lot easier than, you know, making this image for people that they can accept. You know, most people, when they see me, have no idea who I am, you know. That's life, you know. That's people. That's um, society. That's how we go around in our lives, not really knowing who the person next to us is. Unfortunately, you know, the work of initiation into hermetics will give you the, the ability to see who other people truly are. But, ordinarily, people don't see that. Or they get just a little glimmer of it. Or they recognize it, but don't understand what they're recognizing. So, uh, to me, I remember when I was much younger, I had my own coming out to do, and, uh, it was scary for a minute, but I felt so empowered in coming out that, you know, what anybody else in the world thought didn't make a hill of beans to me. So, you know, get into that, that sense of empowerment and your fear will just dissipate. But in coming to that sense of empowerment, Don't be pushy with it. You know? Um, you don't have to be in their face with this new aspect of yourself or this old aspect of yourself that you're just now being honest about. You don't have to be that way. That is sort of a an infantile need, really that need to get the gold star, you know, to get the reward, um, and the acknowledgement, you know, do you really need an external validation to honor your inner self? I mean, that's kind of a, uh, an ordinary response but you don't have to be ordinary. Um, do you really need that external validation for your inner being? And if you do need that external validation, start checking in on why. <laughs> why? My father used to say that that was the dirtiest word in the English language. Why? Because it makes you question yourself. You know, and that, that's what we've got to do in initiation. We've got to always be questioning ourselves. So look at that fear. Look at the roots of it. Look at the need that, uh, you know, it, uh, that underlies... Um, your confrontation with that fear. And find your own way. You know, that's part of uh, the excitement of, uh, you know, this journey is whatever's going to happen, you know, in response to your exposing inner parts of yourself, whatever happens is going to be your journey with it, you know. Um, whether it's good, positive, you know, the world really opens up for you, or whether people freak out, you know, whatever it is, it's going to be your journey, and you're going to learn so much from it. 
And it's going to be different, you know, in a year, in two years, in ten years. You know, it's a journey, and it's your journey. Um, only you can really answer these questions. Um, so, good luck, you know. Uh, just don't be afraid to be who you are. Alrighty. See you next time. Bye-bye.